Hello YouTube, this is the Omega831 and today I'm doing this quick video to help you guys get your Minecraft 1.2.3 bucket server with plugins all set up. So what I've done here is created two server files that are in the description. Just download the one that fits your computer. I'll show you uh, to how to figure out which one you need in a second here. but. I just want to say this first, if you guys can please thumbs up the video, I took a lot of time in setting up the permissions and all the plugins, so please thumbs it up, I would like to get a thousand thumbs up, that would be great, and if it helps, please subscribe. So anyways, now we'll get on to the video. What we do is, uh, there will be two links in the description, just find out which one you, you need to get. The 64-bit is for 64-bit operating systems and 32-bit for 32-bit operating systems. So just click Start, right-click Computer, go to Properties, and what we're going to need to do is find out how much RAM you have and which system type you have. I have 64-bit, so I would download the 64-bit operating system server package, and also write down how much how much RAM you got. I have 8 gigs of RAM okay so since I have the 64-bit I will open up this folder <clears throat> they're both basically the exact same server it's just they have, they have two different run bat files okay so what we need to do first is edit the run bat file uh, if you look in the description uh, there's a download to a free program called uh, notepad plus plus you should download that install it and that's how we will be editing the run bat file. So once you have that installed, right click on the run bat and click on edit with notepad plus plus. And here you can change the amount of RAM your server will be using. I have mine set to 4096 M, which is four gigabytes of RAM. Even though my computer has eight, since I play on the same computer that I host the server on, you need to have a little bit of cushion and Windows 7 uses about 1.5 gigs I believe of RAM just to run the operating system so um, if you're gonna play on the same server just leave a little cushion so if you if you have 8 I wouldn't use any more than 6 uh, gigabytes uh, 1 gigabyte is 1024 megabytes so just multiply that by the amount uh, the amount of RAM you want to use, okay? So, um, just keep that in mind. You should always leave at least two gigabytes open. And uh, so, yeah. And if you're on a 32-bit machine, you'll have to leave your uh, run bat file 1024 and under for the the amount of RAM you can use. Okay. So now that we have that out of the way, for 64-bit operating system users, you might have to do the following. If you're having trouble running the run bat file, if it just flashes really quick when you try to run the run bat file, you might have to paste, copy this code right here. It's going to be in the description called the path definer. Just copy that code and then click on start right click computer go to properties go to advanced system settings go to environment variables and then click over here and click on path click edit and <clears throat> right here for the variable value there will be a code here already do not delete it leave it there scroll to the very end of what the code and paste in the path definer at the end don't erase anything just paste it in at the end and then click OK and click OK and click OK and you're all done you should be able to run the run bat file and once you have that all set up um, you, c you can start the server but let me just give you guys a uh, little glimpse into what plugins I have installed here chess shop for this server shop plugin we have essentials you'll need that um, essentials um, I, I put creeper nerf enabled 
a false book you can create gates bridges and stuff like that group manager handles the the groups and permissions um, jobs it's a great way to make money um, mob disguise a lot of fun no cheat prevent cheaters from cheating kind of self-explanatory stop talking auto ban um, it kinda manages uh, spammers top PvP uh, monitor kill counts ultimate arena you can make any kind of arena mob arena spleef arena PvP arena world edits world guard um, those are just good editing tools and building tools um, and X team I'm using this instead of factions the problem with factions is it's not good for a hardcore PvP server because you can claim land and protect land and protect chests and on a hardcore PvP server you don't want that so X team doesn't allow you to do that it just basically allows you to set a headquarters for your team uh, have team chat um, and team teleportation and that's about it anti pvp anti uh, logger it just prevents people from logging out while in pvp or it punishes them if they do try to log out while in pvp so you can look at the rest i'm not going to go over those in detail i just want to give you a quick overview of what i installed for you guys and also um actually let me go back in here and show you how I set up the groups so just click on groups right click on it go to edit with notepad plus plus okay so the group is the default that's the group but the name that you'll see in game in front of your name um, it's called a prefix and what I did was I used the star sign and the star sign just represents this is the beginner the noob and then you get two stars if you've been on for a while and you become a member you get three stars as a VIP you get four stars as a moderator five as an admin and six as the owner so that's kinda cool and um, also before you do anything make sure to put your name inside the op text put your username in there and save it and also what else can I show you guys alright so you <clears throat> we can edit the server properties so right click on server edit notepad plus plus you can change this all to however you like allow nether true or false so you just basically um, basically just change this at your own will change your message of the day that's the one I put on there you're gonna wanna change that probably and you can change the number of players um, for every one gigabyte of RAM that you have in your computer you have the possibility of hosting oh, about 32 players for every one gigabyte of RAM um, but that also depends on your internet connection speed your upload speed and uh, you can find out how to how fast your internet is just by going to speedtest.com I believe or something like that and uh, difficulty set to three that's hard two is medium one is easy PvP true um, online mode leave it true don't set it false otherwise hacked people can join your server and just cause a lot of trouble for you I'm just telling you now but it's your choice and that's all I'm gonna go over in that so once we have that all covered we can go ahead and double click the run bat file it'll start the server um, if you don't like the world that I have in there you can just go ahead and delete the world and change the seed if you want to in the server properties and generate a new world but that's totally up to you um, the world is practically new there's barely anything on it and it, it's a pretty cool seed that I gave you guys there um, so now that the server is up make sure you do this to make yourself owner of your own server type in this right here man you add your username and then owner with the capital W and it'll say you moved you to group owner blah 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 but I was already owner so that's no big deal 
So, um, what else? Okay, let's cover your favorite part, and that is port forwarding. So if you're on Windows Vista or 7, just click start. Um, oops, click start, type CMD. If you're on Windows XP, go to run and type CMD. You'll come up to this black prompt screen, type in IP config. Find the network for the computer you're going to host the server on. Mine is wireless, so this is what I care about. Write down your IPv4 address and write down your default gateway. Write those two strings of number da numbers down. Once you have that, you can go ahead and exit out of that. Okay, so open up your web browser and type in your default gateway into the address bar. Okay, and once you do that, you should log into your router. By default, some routers, the username can be admin, the password could be just password, um, or you can just leave it blank and just log in without doing anything. But if your parents or your system administrator changed any of this information, you'll have to get it from them. And um, so once you log in, uh, all routers are going to look different. You're going to want to look for something along the lines of port forwarding, virtual servers, advanced, or uh, port triggering. Mine is under advanced. And as you can see, there's port forwarding right there. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is check mark the box to make it active. Give your, uh, give your profile a name. I just called it MC. I was lazy. And then for TCP, you, you, you put in 25565. On some routers, you can do TCP and UDP at the same time. On some routers, you have to do them separately. So if you can't do them both at the same time, just do TCP UDP for this number right here, 25565. That's the default port for Minecraft. And um, what else? OK, so the IP address, you just type in your um, IPv4 address in there. And once you have that done, you click Save Changes or Apply Changes, whatever it says. The router has to restart, and once it restarts, you should be good to go. And people from the outside world should be able to join you. All right, so now the IP that you need to give to people to join your server, you just go to Google or Yahoo or whatever and just type in IP chicken. And all you got to do is just click on the IP chicken link, write down the number, the, the IP address, and that's the IP that you're going to want to give to your friends or whoever to join your server. And that is pretty much it. You are done, and people will be able to have fun on your server, and you'll just be so happy, and you'll be, yeah, happy, I guess. So, um,. Let me just show you that, yes, this is indeed, oh god, that's tweaking out. Okay, let me just make sure, okay, I'll show you that this is indeed a 1.2.3 server. I'm going to log into Minecraft. Fully up to date, 1.2.3, right there. Okay, here's my server. Fluffy kittens are cute. Alright, oh, I forgot to show you. How to connect to your own server? Just type in um, local host, and then you just join, and you're in your server. All right, so that's pretty much how you do that. Um, just want to take this time to say, please thumbs up if this has helped. Thank you so much. It would help me so much. Favorite the video. Tell everybody this is the best video, and yeah. Hopefully I can get that thousand likes and also um, I just want to say that we are also going to be offering servers so if you want us to host a server for you uh, we can do so just um, message me or um, PM me on Skype and we can work something out we have really good prices and we'll set up plugins for you and everything like that so thanks for watching the video and I'm um, sorry for being a little bit longer than I thought but oh well bye